Nice to have you with us. Yeah. 
it was only a few years after mum had died and I was probably a bit rudderless and mm. confused about where I wanted to go. The best thing about getting lost is what you find along the way. He landed on London where he began a successful career in modeling. Seeking free the new footprints for men from Calvin Klein. I never got a real satisfaction out of modeling, let's say that. And I remember being told that like you got to face that well, you know, the structure of your your actual bones and stuff that means you'll be able to do this for a very long time. And they were telling me that as a positive thing. Right. And I was just going, Oh my god, no, I don't want to be doing this for a long time. Well I hated the lack of like control you had over it. I hated the sort of Put your arm down, don't put it up again. Look, I find it really like, do I get to own any of this? Mm -hmm. Any of me? No. Uh, no is the answer. So Dornan turned to acting, booking his very first role in director Sofia Coppola's Marie Antoinette. Yeah. His breakthrough came in the hit British TV series The Fall. The thoughts, the feelings that I experience are way beyond anything that you could call fantasies. Then, in 2015... My taste for... singular. You would understand. Enlighten me, then. He became a household name while starring in the first of three steamy Fifty Shades of Grey blockbusters. What was your first thought when they pitched you the idea? I thought, um... Can you imagine the scrutiny of being involved in that project? Did you really right away? Yeah. It wasn't an instant yes. I was like, Jesus. And we made the films for the fans. And they loved the films. And they went to see them in their drones and it made $1.4 billion. So it was a massive success in many ways. But we all know how critically panned they got. So I have zero regret with being involved in them and making them because it, it afforded me the opportunity to do so many other great projects off, off the back of it. It changed your life. How did you deal with the pain inside of it? I did. I truly did. In the last six years we've lived out in the countryside and I think it was the right thing to do to just not be uh, that much in people's eyeline, really. Fifty Shades Always will be a part of Jamie Dornan's story, but with the buzz around his performance in Belfast, there's talk Grey could turn to gold. I feel like I have so much more to offer. I feel like I'm just getting started. Will there be people in the entirety of my career that only see me as like one character? Yeah, sure, but that's on them. Belfast is in theaters and on demand now. And you can catch Jamie in The Tourist, the series that already is a hit in the UK, now coming here to HBO Max in March. Our big thanks to The Dead Rabbit in New York City for hosting our conversation. Jamie liked that place so much, he's already been back for a pint. Don't forget to join Jamie and me inside that pub for the full interview by subscribing to the Sunday Sit Down Podcast. You can find it on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. And next week, a new Sunday sit-down with one of Jamie's acting heroes, another Irishman, Liam Neeson, on a prolific career of roles ranging from Schindler's List to Star Wars. Liam Neeson, next week on Sunday Today. Let's turn now and get a quick check of your local Sunday weather. And good morning, I'm Storm Team 4 Meteorologist Ryan Miller. We're frigid right now, heading into the lower 30s later today. Plenty of sunshine, the winds will subside, so that's going to make it feel a bit more comfortable this afternoon. We're in the 40s to start your work week here on both Monday, Tuesday, near 50. Wednesday, rain arriving on Thursday, but a switchover to snow is a possibility Thursday night and Friday morning. And then the cold stuff returns here next weekend, 32 on Saturday, 34 degrees on Sunday. Ahead on Sunday today, our highs and lows of the week, including the story behind the toddler who became an internet star after grabbing his mother's phone and ordering nearly $2,000 worth of handsome furniture for home delivery. Oh, oh. But up next, our Sunday spotlight on one of the budding stars of the Beijing Winter Olympic Games, an 18-year-old American skier and model who will be competing for China.
We'll explain when we come back in just 60 seconds. Time.